You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Yo, 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 what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming, and established artists. Today, we rocking out with Mr. Travis J. Thank you for hey, coming to the show, doing, man. man. How's it going, man? Honored to be here. All right, man. So, what you got? I see you got a lot going on, man. So Yeah, man. I, we really wanted to kick off the year strong. And when I say we, I just mean um, my team. I don't think, I think when you you think about music artists, a lot of people just think it's this guy kind of out there just doing his own thing. But you really don't see people that are doing anything that don't have some kind of support system and a team behind them. So, um, Who is the support system? What team do you... What so, team do you-, you know, I, I, I guess I say I rep CDMG, uh, that's Cairo Divine Music Group. And so, um, you know, hey guys, how you doing? Cairo, what's um, up, man? Yeah, and, um, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of heavy hitters, some good players on that team. Um, and... You know, but but it's really great because they um, they want to make sure that artists have their individuality and that their art comes first. But they also help give some direction and some clarity and um, whatever you're lacking, um, you know, they're going to help either give you what you need or point you in the direction of what you need. So for a local artist, it's really important to have that. And I'm really proud and honored to have been a part of the CDMG family for oh, a while. Oh man, so so what 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 have they offered you so far? Like I see you got the single release and yeah, the distribution man. and everything. Right. So I mean it's really great. I mean, I've been with them for a couple of years and so um all the recent tracks I've done in the last couple of years have um have been published and put out through CDMG. They take care of um like my copyright administration, publishing stuff, all that. I got a I got a good um, contract with them on that stuff. But then, um, also, um, one of the, the best things is we just signed, um, with empire distribution. So if anybody knows anything about empire distribution, that's taken it to another level, especially for a local artist. Um, it's another level of exposure. It's, um, the, it's basically worldwide. Yeah, that's Am worldwide. Right? It's, it's the real thing. And so, um, this new track that I just came out with is called "Can't Tell Me Nothing," and um, and I with King Monk, right? With King Monk, bro, yeah. So, so it's, who is King Monk, man? King, okay, so King Monk is um, he's a local rapper as well. He spends more time, honestly, writing than he does putting out a lot of stuff. I think he wants to change that. So this was kind of his um, he his chance to kind of partner up with me and put something that's that's more front and center. Um, and so I think we'll be hearing more from him in the future, but, uh, we've been friends actually for several years. Um, we've written some stuff together in the past and, um, and so this was just, yeah, I felt like the right time. Um, we're good friends. And so he's, he's a little bit of silly, so you can kind of hear his silliness in, in his, he tried to come off serious, but there's a little bit of his silliness in that song, you know? You, I, I still remember, I, I just, just looking at your face, I still remember when you came to our show and rocked out with the piano yeah, and, and the whole nine, man. You, you came a long way since then. You know man. what? It, and that's still, every time I do a show, it doesn't matter where I am, that's how I hit them. That's it. when um that's originality even man. you even blew the if, crowd away. Absolutely cuz even if um even if I'm going to do some of this stuff like some of the upbeat songs, I want to make sure that people know that I'm a singer first and foremost. I'm not I'm not an entert- I mean what I do is entertainment, but I'm not here just to entertain you. Some people say they're a singer but they got to get in a booth and put a bunch of effects and auto tune on their voice and it's a type of singing. I'm not knocking it. But um, but I'm a singer. I'm a soul singer, an R&B type guy, and I I grew up singing in church and and singing in choirs and doing all that stuff. So I always want to make sure people get a glimpse of that part of me first. So I always open up with. Um, you probably remember I'll wait. I came out with that a couple of years ago. I definitely and, remember um, that. How could you forget? Yeah. So so my my um. What I do is I always open up a show on the piano and I want to make sure people kind of get a glimpse of my vocal range and the things I can do. And then I'll go into some of the more fun stuff. So while we're on the subject of shows, you you got like a little mini tour coming up in the next couple of, well, well, this month. 
Yeah, this yeah, so. this month I'm doing a couple of things I, I'm really excited about. So I've stopped doing. Um, I don't want to say I stopped doing local shows. I'll always do local shows. Um, and if somebody calls me and says, "Trav, can you be here?" Um, I'm gonna be there because first of all, I represent and and support other local talent. But there's also um, the fact that if you're not supported in your city, you know, then it, first of all, I think local at global. Exactly. Concept, yeah. that, you, you got it. And so, but, um, but I've started to look for shows where actually I can kind of mold the show and do what I want. So like I'll be performing, um, at a place on, on the North side called, um, uh, country rock country. Right. Which it's not I'm not doing country music in case anybody's wondering, but it's a great venue and they basically just give me three hours. So I own that venue for three hours and I can do whatever I want. So for any artist, first of all, if you got content, that's good. If you only got 15 minutes worth of content, that's a lot of thumb twiddling that you're doing. But um, it's really great. So I can bring out some of my friends, um, people that I've done collaborations with. They can come out and perform with me. And um and we I think just I might have night. to cover media on that man. man. I would love it if you came out. It'd be great. Okay, that's dope. And then you got uh the spring bling. Then, too. then we got spring bling down in uh down in Georgia in the Atlanta area. So that's pretty awesome. That's uh, big, man. Yeah, Trey G set that one up. Um, what up, Trey? Trey, Trey G's my man. Trey, you, yeah, if you if you know <laughs> if you know any, you probably you might not know Trey G, but you know some of his artists. If you know Destiny Lynn and. Um, you know, you got a collab with Destiny. I do have a collab with Destiny. You know what though? Um, we, I'm just waiting for that thing to hit hit the market. We kind of sat on that one for a while. I'm actually with a lot of artists, you know, because maybe it's not the right time. What's that song about, man? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I got it. What's this song like? You haven't heard it yet, have you? No, I haven't heard it, man. All right. So, um, yeah. Give us a little sneak peek, man. Okay. So, I mean, it's, um. I'll give you a little bit of the hook on that one. Basically, there's just a part in there where I'm singing, Girl, you got me feeling right. Girl, you got me feeling right. Girl, you got me feeling right. And like, ooh, ooh, baby. Oh, so y'all got to release this. Y'all <laughs> bullshitting, man. Y'all bullshitting. But if you know Destiny, she, she's got that personality, and it's really her song. It comes through real, real good. So, Who produced it? Um... To be honest with you, I don't know who made the beat. Um, she knows. Um, she just called me. She said, Travis, I got this beat. I think this will work for us. Oh, she man. called me over to the house, and um, I listened to it. We kind of did a little writing session, and then a couple weeks later, we got in the studio, and um, it was a good good piece, so I'm excited about that one, too. Man, y'all be on the lookout for this guy, man. <laughs> You do your own publishing and all that as well too. Yeah, huh? so, so I own all my all my copyrights, but um, like I said, CDMG um, handles all of the administrative work. part, um, the distribution. So um, yeah, I mean, so I'd I'd be lying if I said that I I did all the work. Right. Um, but yeah, I definitely that's a big thing for me. I've been involved in music. A lot of people don't know before I was doing this. Um, I was working in the music industry um, for years, mostly in Christian music and uh, in praise and worship stuff, like church music and stuff. So um, and it's a lane for that. Too, this, it's a worldwide lane for that. And so what are you, I are you going to dive back into it? Definitely. This year, actually, there's going to be some stuff. Um, and I'll touch on that in just a second. But I mean, really, um, what I did was publishing work. So I worked with some top-notch artists in the in the Christian music industry doing publishing. So I didn't come into this blind. So when I came into doing R&B and pop music, um, I needed some coaching, and I still do some direction in this genre. But when it came to the business side, I made sure that I, I had all my ducks in a row on that one. This this is a, a nice guy to talk to, man. I, this was a, a it was a pleasant interviewing you, man. Picking your brain, man. He he just got he just released the the song. Uh, what Can't tell me Can't nothing. Can't tell me nothing. It's featuring King Monk. And where is it at? You can find it everywhere. Anywhere where you find music, from Apple Music to iTunes, um, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon. You and can just Google Travis J. Google. Travis J. Gandy, or you find me on any social media. Just look up Travis J. Gandy. Um, you, you'll find me. 
So y'all tap in, man. You know we had to pick the brain. Uh, Travis J, man, it's been a long time. Hey. Coming. Congratulations on all your success, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in, like I said again. And I think I'm all out of questions. You got any shout outs, man? Man, no, I just, again, I want to shout out to the CDMG crew. Also, um, Eli Stamstead, the, the producer on this new track, man. He is hot. And anybody in the city who's looking to do something different, because if you notice, we talk about Milwaukee music. Milwaukee music is great, but we should always be pushing for something, tweaking our sound and doing this kid is amazing. So um, if you don't know how to find Eli Stamstead, hit me up and I'll put you in touch with him. This kid's amazing. Um, obviously, King Monk um, and all my friends and family. I love you guys. So we rocking out with Travis J. Gandy. This your boy, Sir Quinn. We rocking out from best of the best. And like I always say, shh, shut, shut up, up and hustle. And hustle. Yo. Best of the best entertainment presets.